In uh, today's tutorial, I will show you how to uh, enable IPMI in uh, Dell Server BIOS. So let's go ahead and uh, as you see, I work. Uh, I'm working through the Virtual Console. It's basically the same as you power on and uh, working uh, at the physical location of your servers. And uh, you go to uh, power on your system. There it is. The R seven twenty XD um the boot tab it kinda slow. I'm not sure it's uh, about other model but uh typically it takes like um the minute uh two to like four minutes for me to boot up. There you go. And you hit uh, F2 function uh, number 2 to entering uh, the system setup or the BIOS settings. If you're using the virtual console and you um using it from uh, Safari on uh, Mac OS, uh, the F11 uh, key, the function 11, is not going to work on Macs, but um, I believe it. Uh, they have a macro uh, F11 on here and you can uh, using that instead of uh, hitting the function key in the uh, uh, the F key on your Mac keyboard alright so we're in the uh, system setup right now the IPMI is going to be under eye track setting, so you go to eye track setting and go down a little bit more. Actually, it uh, it in the network, so you hit on the network and uh, come on down. So this is here you uh, can set the DNA uh, track name. This is the name we're gonna have appears on your uh, router or uh, your firewall and uh, the IP uh, before setting you can use the uh, DHCP I don't like to use this uh, I like to set the statics for um, all the device that uh, I don't want the uh, IP address to change However, you can use a DHCP um, if you use a PFSYN or your router capable of uh, research the IP address. Uh, you just use the DHCP and research that IP address for um, this main address only. That way, that uh, uh, every time you release a uh, renew the lease, uh, it's gonna be the same IP address every time. And uh, right here on the bottom, where say IPMI settings, you gonna click on enable and change the privilege level to uh, administrators. And once you're done that, you hit back and uh, finish. Because I didn't make any uh, change, so it didn't uh, pop up the menu say saying that. Uh, pop up the window saying that all the settings have been saved uh, if you do that just hit finish and the um, server gonna restart and uh, that's it for the tutorial guys that's how you enable IPMI in uh, Dell uh, Power Edge server thank you all for watching and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial bye